Welcome back. It's still the breakfast and plus TV Africa and we we'll move on to the next conversation of the day. This time around we're looking at the issue with uh, the nation's um, education system, specifically what's been happening with the academic staff union of universities um, extending its strike by another 12 weeks. Now, the Academic Staff Union of Universities says it will not yield to the decision by the Nigerian government to starve, in quote, its members over the ongoing prolonged strike. It described the decision as ill-advised and said rather than forcing its members to back down, it would complicate matters. Now, as President Emmanuel Osodeke reiterated this on Monday in a statement issued to announce the extension of the three-month-old strike by additional three months. He decried the failure of the government to accede to its request and accused the elected and anointed government officials of showing no concern because their children and wards allegedly school abroad. Now, meanwhile, the National Association of Nigerian Student Nuns uh, on Monday also vowed to block all federal roads and airports in the country to protest the 12 week extension of strike by the Academic Staff Union of University Zasu. Nuns President Sunday Achevon, in a statement made available to our correspondent, condemned the inaction of the administration of President Mohammed Buhari over the industrial action which started on February the 14th this year. Uh, right now, we have ASU Chairman Unilag Chapter Dili Ashiru joining us. Good morning to you, uh, Mr. Ashiru. Thanks for joining us on this particular discuss. Yes. Uh, from the foregoing, from what I just read, uh, ASU is saying that um, it would not be uh, deterred. Uh, are there any talks of uh, no pay, no work going on? Let me just start by that. Uh, well, uh, Uh, Mr. Asher, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, fine. We have a report, uh, you know, from uh, the federal government. Uh, let me just read something to you so I could actually get... Uh, your reactions uh, concerning that. Let me just read it verbatim. Uh, Director of Press and Media Relations of the Federal Ministry of Education, Ben Gong, uh, who actually announced something yesterday, accused your union, that's ASU, of intimidation and bullying. It said ASU had disclosed its resolve uh, following its national emergency, na uh, National Executive Council meeting of the union yesterday. The director who described the 2000 2009 agreement between your union and the federal government as having been reached at gunpoint said some of ASU's demands can't be implemented. Two things right now. Uh, it, it is accusing you, or the ministry rather, is accusing you of intimidation and bullying, as well as uh, saying that the agreement uh, reached in 2009, specifically he quoted, uh, saying that it was reached at gunpoint, in quote. All right, we'll try and reconnect uh, with uh, Dele Asher. We seem to be having some um, audio issue with him, but uh, we'll try and uh, get that all sorted out. So, Messi, you know, it is surprising, you know, all that is coming up from this since yesterday, Asher extending its drug by um, three bones and... Uh, the Federal Ministry of Education claiming that the, result, um, the agreement in 2009 was reached at um, quote-unquote gunpoint and is saying that um, ASU is um, intimidating and bullying the government. I'm not so, but if you, if you actually get to a point where you say there was an agreement, right, mm. that means you actually agreed to whatever it was. So I really don't understand uh, the dynamic surrounding 
saying that it was reached at the point of bullying, and, but you got to a point of agreement, mm. you agreed to it. That's what it is. So now you're trying to tell us the process that led to it. I really don't know if there was a gun literally <laughs> put to the heads of those who were representing government at that point. Maybe we, 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 we need to get all of that explicit. Mm. But what we, the people know, because what's being made available to the public is that ASU and the federal government had gotten into an agreement and you had agreed to, um, you know, some certain terms that they had presented to you. And one would expect that if you get into an agreement, it's just honorable to leave to the path them. of, you know, meet the, um, the issues. And what are the issues that have been asked? I mean, just recently, uh, we also, be, because of some of the funds that we saw that the federal government had approved, uh, the intervention funds to tertiary institution, and that's why you, uh, we saw um, that headline talking about TED fund mm -hmm. and how much has been disbursed, you know, to, uh, to the universities, to polytechnics and colleges of education. Mm. It's, re it's really surprising. I don't know. So a lot of people would say that uh, the, that particular uh, disbursement was done just because of um, us was actually uh, bent on uh, continuing strike. But we have uh, Dele Ashiro back. Uh, thanks for staying with us, uh, Mr. Ashiro. Yeah, you see... It appears that government is now bereft of ideas. Because how would you tell the world that an agreement you freely entered into in 2009, 30 years ago, was done at some point? Our union only has said we don't carry guns. Not only that, government that has reached more than three memoranda of action with our union on the 2009, on the 2009 agreement, we now turn around to say that, that, that it, it's been bullied. It, then it shows that we have a bunch of people who really don't know what governance is. Because if they do, they will understand that they are toying with the lives of millions of Nigerians and act in the best interest of the country. How many of those who are talking about seeking agreement at gunpoint and you have their children schooling in Nigeria? The ones that are in Nigeria in privileged schools, now they have ensured that there is educational stratification between the rich and the poor in a society that should be egalitarian. So if today they really don't know how to defend their ineptitude and inefficiency in government, the best way to go is to apologize to Nigerians and quickly call our, our leaders and resolve the crisis in the interest of the country. Okay, um, let's also look at another one. It talks about the... Uh, approval of intervention funds. The government is saying they've approved intervention funds, and that's why you have uh, the top one. Some amount have been approved to uh, public institutions. So you have ASU, I mean the universities, the polytechnics, and the colleges of education. Does that not count for anything? What exactly is it that uh, ASU is still asking for? We are not asking for intervention funds. And they cannot be throwing crumbs at all. What we are asking government to do is to, is to conclude the renegotiation of the, of the 2009 agreement so that we stop talking about 2009 in 2022. That's one. Number two, we are forcefully enrolled on IPDIS. We have proved to government that IPDIS is a fraud. The people who are operating it are fraudulent. The IPPIS is compromising the sovereignty of our nation and destroying the fabric of our education system. And that we should be taken out of that platform. Those are our core demands. We are not asking for funds from the master table. I know what you should say, they have uh, released intervention funds and consequently they have a more that that's struggling for. Our demands are clear, and we have made it known to government, and they should act in that direction and stop all these diversionary tactics of uh, releasing intervention funds and useless funds that will never get to the university. 
All right, by the federal government, through its director of press, uh, federal minister of education, director of press, uh, seems to believe that um, your extension uh, by three months is actually unnecessary. That um, you know issues could be resolved uh, in, even if you don't, um, if you are still not on strike. But then again, he also mentioned that uh, most of your demands cannot be met. Are they really cast in stone? What are, how far-reaching are these demands? If they can't meet the demands, they should resign. They should leave governance for those who can do it. And it's, it's saying that our, uh, our strike is unnecessary. Since when have we found that strike notice? Have you had the Minister of Education saying anything about the strike of our school? Mr. Ashwa, are you still there? I am here. All right. Still on that, uh, I'm not trying to hold um, the fort for the federal government, but it seems to believe that uh, over the years it has been doing so much into the investor system. It quoted um, that um, TED fund is pumping in a minimum of about $230 billion into the universities yearly. How true is this and how far has that actually gone? Has it really changed anything in the university I, system? I, I, I am not in a position to know how much they have pumped into Nigerian universities. They should ask my sampler who are their colleagues who are together destroying the education system to, to respond to how much they have shared to them over the years. What we are saying is even the state fund that they are talking is the best side of our union. They took us off the court of state fund because of our critique of many of the disposed the money. And now today they have made one of the image of our the 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 the, 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 the secretary, secretary of that one. I know that they have they are they treating the society with issues of about the situation in the university. What we are simply saying is that if we are giving money to university administrators, they should ask them what they have done with it. So are you it's saying, Mr. Shiro, are, this, are you saying that this are you saying that this money is like being disbursed? The principles of collective bargaining. So, and they give that agreement in the interest of our members. So are you saying and that this course, money is being disbursed to the that, universities and uh, not yeah. actually appropriated to what they are supposed to be used for? I don't get that question, please. So are you saying that these monies that um, Ted Fund has claimed are being disbursed to the universities are not actually used for what they should be uh, ordinarily used for in the university system? You will do your investigation as a journalist. There are a lot of abandoned Ted Fund projects all over the university. The corruption that is going on between the university and the Ted Fund and the contractors and the university administrators for which I was not struggling at the discussion panel he said, up to now, the white paper of the discussion panel is still in the Ministry of Education. That ministry is, is, is inefficient and is not destroying education in Nigeria. And uh, what claim from that ministry should be, should be taken seriously by any Nigerian. They will sit in Nigeria and they are working contracts in. in, 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 in in all, all, all the results of the transaction, collecting feedback from contractors. So how are those contractors going to efficiently deliver on the mandate that they have? Okay. Um let's also ask the question because you have man uh, manufacturers association, I mean, coming out and ask you to say that you have the entire country in disarray, almost every sector is in disarray and your strike have been incessant. The question is, strike actions for ASU over time has not necessarily yielded any result if you look at it, because it feels that, like- That is not correct. It has yielded, it has yielded results. Uh, so if it has well, yielded- if people, don't, people should stop saying what they don't know. Our strike has yielded results. It was our strike that was second. The world of the ministry is today celebrating. It is our strike that is still seeking public universities are closed. If we are not going on strike, this government is ready to destroy public universities 
Like they have done to put me primarily and secondary schools. Is this all Nigerians that can send their, their work to public universities? As we are outside, rather than sit down to look at the issues in the sky, government is giving licensing private to nurses. Who is the manufacturer of association that is saying that our treasure of money is done? That we still have public universities today. All right, uh, Mr. Ashura. All right, Mr. Ashura. Uh, would, would... And we have been preventing them from the destruction of the university system with the subject of you. All right, Mr. Ashu, uh, we'll still come back to you, but right now uh, we understand that uh, we have um, Sunday Ashefon, uh, the president of um, National Association of Nigerian Students, um, Nance, uh, joining us uh, right now. Uh, good morning to you, uh, Sunday Ashefon. Thanks for joining us on this particular discourse. Sunday, can you hear us? Well, mm -hmm. Sunday, can you hear us? Yes, okay, yes, let's uh, get back to uh, Daily Ashu where we'll try and um, connect with Sunday. Hello, Sunday, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Good morning. Good morning. Can you hear me too? I can hear him. Hello, Sunday. Good morning. Good morning. I can hear you. All right, uh, Sunday, uh, if you can hear us. Uh, from what we ha have um, seen all over the papers, uh, your union, the National Association of um, Nigerian Students, um, plan to, uh, or plans to shut down um, airports and roads in the coming days over this particular strike. Can you give us an update? Uh, thank you so much uh, for bringing me in on the uh, show this morning. Uh, first and foremost, let me thank um, all the media houses who has been giving support to Nigerian students since the beginning of this strike, I must commend everyone. Uh, let me start by saying this. We saw it coming that ASU is going to roll over again. And uh, we felt uh, Nigerian students need to do something to avert it. And that is why we came up, we came up in on the first of this month to issue a statement after our ESCO's meeting. And uh, we believe the government will, will even engage or call the, the lecturer. We ask them to a meeting where the issues like this can be resolved. But unfortunately, it seems we are not seeing anything. And uh, what we believe now is, as a, Niger as a, as a leader of Nigerian students, we have to, you know, take our destiny into our hand. And uh, immediately we saw the news of ASU extending the, the strike again for another 12 weeks. I quickly called for an executive meeting, which are via Zoom, we met yesterday. And uh, we agreed that uh, let every, every, uh, NAS JCC in our various states, uh, with all the SUG presidents in all our campuses who are closed, and all the Zona executive should move out as a matter of urgency to, you know, show their grievances by blocking all the federal route, you know, moving to airport and, uh, get the economy of the every state down so that let all the governors in our various states feel the heat the government must feel the heat we cannot fold our hands and be looking staying at home for another three for another three months ah yes so uh in 2020 in 2020 we were at home for nine months now these have started like the shark play in February 14, see where we are today. Seems the government, like I've said, they are not talking about us. Our issue is no longer discussed. And our interest as Nigerian students, I've always said, and I'll continue to say it, this presumably battle between the federal government and ASU is only affecting Nigerian students. 
ask you if they call us to a meeting that is when you can be talking about asu shipping grant i've seen a lot of people i was an uh, a radio inter uh, an interview from Botaco today they called me there some people are saying uh, this and that but i told them when you are not being called for a meeting how do you want to ship the grant if they call us to a meeting then we can be a pleased to ask you to also shape their own sword, to also consider Nigerian students in their own stand. But when you don't call for a call them for a meeting, when you don't even care, discussing all what they care about now is about their primary. Then thereafter, they will be talking about the 2023 election, which is February and March next. Year. So. Will Nigerian students continue this way? No. So that is why we have visual out a statement that all our structures across all the 36 states, they should move out. Let this apparent, let these bourgeois, let these capitalists see by the time they miss, they miss their flight, by the time they could not get to, they could not meet up with the appointment, that they will know there is a fire on the mountain. We have always bear the brunt, but I think it shouldn't be, and uh, there is need for the government to take proper action on this issue of incessant strike in education sector. All right, um, thank you so much. Uh, we have been speaking with uh, the NANS president, uh, that's the National Association of um, Nigerian Students. Uh, uh, Sunday, uh, Asefo, and of course, uh, we also had um, ASU Chairman Unilag Chapter Dili Ashir uh, talking about um, the extension in um, the warning striker by the union and um, what's going to be happening in the next couple of days. And that's as much as we can take on this particular discourse. Uh, we'll take a quick break and we'll return with more conversation. Do join us again. <laughs>